Okay. Hi guys. Hey guys. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick recap for you on some of the techniques from the other night. So the first technique we're going to revisit is that of the belly massage. So this is a good preparation for the breathing technique called binding the cauldron. And this technique is basically just to help release tension and to uh, prepare you so that you can expand more. Um, so this technique is really simple. You just want to relax your belly. Uh, let it just all fall out, become nice and um, tension free as much as you can so you can penetrate deeper into your belly. And then we're going to start by moving our way around the large intestine, which is the outer part of the belly, around the rib cage, down to the hip, and then down to underneath the, the pelvic bone. And then we're going to do the small intestine around the belly button, and then we're going to do the dantian um, deeply. So starting on uh, just above your right hip, you want to be making small clockwise circles, just a couple in each spot before moving your way in uh, around the belly. Noting that if you have any tense spots, uh, it's good to spend a little bit longer on those spots. And again, you don't want to go super deep the whole time, because you're just going to exhaust yourself. But you don't want to go too shallow too, like you want to feel what you're doing. You want it to, to be felt deep inside as well. And then when, once you come down the bottom, you kind of want to pu push in and then push down so you can like really feel into your pelvic uh, kind of the, the pocket underneath and behind your pelvic bone. And then once you've finished the first cycle, which is that all the way around there, we, we finish the pelvic bone and then we take a deep breath, side out, <sighs> using the hands to really. <sighs> release the belly. And then we do the um, small intestine, so starting below the belly button, just uh, drawing big um, deep clockwise circles and then moving around the belly button in a clockwise manner. So you can take as long as you like to do this technique, um, depending on how tense you are. Some days you might want to do a bit more than others. Um, just beware that if you if you hit any real intense pain, um, probably discontinue massaging in that area. And then once you get back to the, the point where we started, um, you again inhale and sigh it out. Ah. Ah. A couple of deep sighs. And then we're going to take our middle fingers and we're going to spear them, like this, into the dantian. Uh, so you access the dantian through this point. Um, my belly button is here, one inch below it is the gateway to my dantian, uh, acupuncture point. And so you want to stick both of your, your middle fingers, you want to spear them into that deeply, as deeply as you can in this case. Um, try and touch your spine. Uh, and then you push up towards your head, and then you draw it around in a big clockwise circle. Ooh. Probably like three times should be enough, and then deep breath. <sighs> and then just feel the flow in your belly. See if your belly feels different now to how it did at the start. And then we're going to move straight into the finding the cauldron practice. So placing your hands on your belly, um, you want to be breathing with uh, what's called Ujjaya breathing, also known as throat friction breathing. It sounds a bit like Darth Vader breathing. Um, I'll give you a quick demo. 
um, sounds like this. Okay, so we want to be breathing with that, that type of breathing that has an energetic activation. Uh, as part of it, that technique, there is an energy that's activated through the body. It helps to wake up the life force, which is what we're doing with this breath work. And then we want to be closing our eyes, breathing through our nose with that throat friction. And then starting at the front of the belly, we want to be pushing our hands as far away as we can. Note that you don't want to be breathing into the chest. One way you can tell if you're breathing into your chest is if you observe my shoulders when I breathe into my belly. They don't lift up. But when I breathe into my chest, you can see that there is a, they kind of, they raise, <laughs> they lift up. So I'm um, just breathing to the belly. I'm gonna bring, uh, we're gonna start this practice now. So closing your eyes, placing your hands on your belly and breathing with the throat friction into the belly. I find five is a good amount of breath for each part of this practice. So breathing into the belly, um, getting your hands to move as far away as you can. side. See how far you can push your hands away from you out of your left side. side. One side is a little bit easier to breathe into than the other. Placing your hands on your lower back, seeing if you can feel the breath pushing into your hands. And if you can't feel it pushing into your hands, just feel the breath pushing into the back as you breathe into your belly. Placing your hands on your knees, breathing deep, deep, deep into your base. You want to see if you can feel the breath pushing into your genitals, pushing into your butt, pushing into your perineum. You may feel a kind of a kind of expansion below, or you may just feel a bit of pressure pushing below. 
um, it's not a huge movement. So just really tune into the subtlety and breathing as much as you can into your face. So discontinuing the throat friction breathing, just breathe normally, feeling your whole body, feeling your hands and your feet, becoming aware of the room where you're in, space at all. And as we click our fingers, we're going to open our eyes. Beautiful. Mmm, such a delicious practice. It always makes me feel quite alive and um, yeah, vibrant and yummy. Um, this practice can be pushed a lot harder than this. This is a simple, uh, short practice that I recommend doing once a day minimum. Ideally when you wake up. After a shower is perfect. You wake up, have a shower and do this. It really centers you for the day. You can do it before you go to bed. Um, but sometimes it can be too enlivening, and then you won't fall asleep, perhaps. It's different on different days. Um, feel free to push this practice. You know, if you want to do this for an hour or two or six in a day, like it, it, it'll do amazing things for you the harder you push it. But by no means feel you need to. If you just do this once a day, you will get the benefits from it. But you need to do it every day. Um, when you, when you um, choose a strong choice to do something every day, it really crystallizes in your energy and you're going to gain a functionality of, of your ability to access your, your, your dancing, your lower dancing and the energy that can be, um, that can be drawn from it. So let me know if you have any questions, uh, feel free to tell me how you like the video and yeah, I hope it, I hope it helps.